Hey there guys, gals and non-binary pals. I'm in the same t-shirt as this day last week. Woo! That's because I'm recording it five minutes later. So, um, by the time you see this, it's going to be a week after this has happened. But yesterday I spent the day rebuilding my PC. My laptop, I should say. Because, um, yeah, it was messy. It had reached the point where I was getting where websites were blocking me or at least I couldn't get through to certain websites and it was driving me absolutely insane I couldn't take it anymore so I decided you know what let's fuck it let's reinstall Windows let's put in the drivers the whole lot mm. I love my laptop don't get me wrong I love my laptop it's one of the best investments I ever made I've done so much on it I've done so much with it it was well priced and Reasonably well specified specification. It has reasonably good, reasonably good specifications for the price I paid for it, and it, I have it over to, over a year and a half now, and it's nothing wrong with it. Quite happy with it, but it has the dumbest thing I've ever come across. Okay, so it's a uh, Hewlett Packard, and it's um, a pavilion. So it has on chip. It has graphics processing on the CPU. And that's R5. Nothing wrong with it. Perfectly adequate grant. But it has a second GPU, an R7, which cuts in to support the R5 when it's necessary. Anyone who knows their computers and drivers knows where I'm going with this. So, you have this problem where it will swap over and the graphics cards, both of them will hang. Computer crashes. You have this problem where installing drivers for it is a bitch. Because it's like, I have to install drivers for both. But I have to dr install the right drivers for both. So that they interact properly. Which is something they didn't do in the factory. I'm so glad I reinstalled Windows and reinstalled everything. Because it actually works now. I played Skyrim on it for two hours last night. It never crashed. It never stuttered. There was no screen tearing. There was no lag. Last week, I couldn't get Star I couldn't get Skyrim to boot. Warframe. Oh, by the way, as soon as I'm able, there's going to be Warframe on this channel because. <laughs> uh, but Warframe was running last week at l lowest settings and okay it was like 28 29 fps it was fine for managing uh craft construction crafting and for doing non intensive stuff like i couldn't do multiplayer with it because all the particle effects and movement from the other players dropped my fps down to like five didn't work now i did a four player co-op last night on it just testing it stress testing it and i had it on high settings and it ran at a solid 27 fps i mean i know there are people who go nuts if anything if it's anything below 30 but coming from a generation of gamers who were happy when we had a game that had like 10 fps that feels pretty fucking luxurious to me now, if I drop down to medium, I get a solid 30, sometimes going up as high as 60 in quieter areas in the game. All because I put the I went out of my way to install the graphics drivers properly in the right order. We'll get to that. And the right types. In the right order? Yeah, it turns out that to install any driver, any graphics drivers onto that computer, you had to install the oldest graphic drivers available for it. You had to. You couldn't install graphics drivers otherwise at all. The fuck? I don't get me wrong. You the Packard have built an, a hell of a laptop. I mean, it's been dropped multiple times. It's still kicking. It's easy to maintain. It still has a slot where I can drop another eight gigabytes of RAM into, which I'm thinking about doing. Fantastic. Awesome. Great. But. If anyone from you, the Packard, is watching this, quit with the dual graphics card shit. It's just irritating. It doesn't work. It's badly thought out, badly implemented, 
and it's just a bitch for the end user to maintain. I spent so long getting the. It took me an hour to get XP uh, to get Windows 10 into it. Most of that was taken up by dragging stuff off of the hard drive that I wanted to keep, and it didn't take long to install Windows. Wi-Fi instantly worked, no problem. LAN cable instantly worked, no problem. Trackpad instantly worked, no problem. The control keys at the top of the screen, no problem. Everything worked perfectly on installation, except for the graphics drivers because of that fucking stupid dual GPU thing. I mean, I get it. You want to do something like that, fine, but do it as a fucking test bed. Don't ship it out. Um, but what I'm really liking about it is all the fluff is gone. There was so much junk that they were installing automatically like it just comes on it and the problem is you initially don't know what you have to keep and what you can get rid of and it's things like um bno audio controls i don't need them real tech audio controls are perfectly functional for me thank you very much or um oh so much junk so many junk games no, fragments of junk games. You boot them up and then you have to download them. Because it's just the it's just the entry screen. It's lovely. Why did you put that shit on my computer? Um just so much junk that appears on your computer when you buy a pre built computer. And you have to really buy pre built laptops. Although I am tempted to try and make a Raspberry Pi laptop. I'm tempted. But we'll see. Um But yeah, that was a that was a long day, but so worth it. At the end of the day, I have a laptop that just purrs. And I'm doing something that normally I don't do, and I'm glad I'm doing it, which is I'm only adding things in as I need them, rather than the way I traditionally use a laptop is, okay, well, I need to install this, 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 this and this, because I'm probably going to be using them. Now, admittedly, I will use them, but... It's things like having art rage on my laptop. I like having art rage on my laptop, but really, I'm only dra drawing at my PC now because of the tablet monitor. So, yeah, I would probably install Wacom uh, drivers for my blank tablet um, in the future, but right now, I don't need that. I went through the services and told a lot of stuff not to boot up. Um, just the sheer amount of stuff that you can get rid of and not put in. Like, I don't use a word processor. Like, at all. If I'm going to write, I use a tiny little freeware program called TreePad Lite. It's basically a personal information ma database manager. And it's literally like, you can write in it, it has no spell check. Well, it does if you buy the non-free version, which I'm thinking about doing. But... You can create tabs along the left side, um, like a, a file tree. So it's great for writing things in chapters or having, like, you're writing something and you want notes connected to that ex on its own. You create a sub, you create a child node, and you write your notes into the child node, and then that's connected directly to what you were writing. So you know exactly what it's about. I don't use a graphic, uh, a word processor for that reason. So the only word processing stuff I left on it was, like, Notepad and WordPad. Bye bye OneNote. Don't get me wrong. I think OneNote is great on a phone. I don't like it on a computer. Um, I got rid of pay, um, MS Paint is gone. I got rid of it. I don't use it. I use Paint.net if I need it. And if I need it, I'll download it. So it's. I suppose really what I'm talking about here is if you decide that you're going to reinstall Windows. By the way, first of all, fair play. <laughs> Have a fun day. But secondly, hold off on installing new stuff. Like, obviously install a browser other than Edge because it, it just doesn't work. It's very far from cutting edge, let's put it that way. Um, but beyond that, just install stuff as you need it. And think about uninstalling it if you don't need it afterwards. Like, there's quite a lot of times you'll install something and only need it once. Install, uninstall it afterwards frees up space it means that more often than not any junk that was starting in the background and slowing your, your boot up and your shutdown 
will be gone. By the way, boot up, 15 seconds. <laughs> it was at over a minute. Shutdown was three minutes long and it's now 20 seconds. I'm so glad I did it. Even if I have still got a thumping headache from doing it and I'm still wondering why in the hell P Sony don't have fucking dedicated PC con drivers for their PS4 DualShock 4 controller. Although I did get it working with Steam, so yeah, it's okay. Anyway, I'm going to call it a day there because I'm just waffling. So um, back on Saturday with something stay a while related. Uh, in the meantime, have a great day. Be good. As always. Fuck YouTube and bye for now.